Uh, I got four or five coats last night. And that joint turned out all right. After watching the videos, editing them, I wasn't happy. So I'm going to have another go. Here's what I should have done. You see these these screw marks? That probably pushed that timber off. That's why I got that flat piece. That one that went upright, like that. So I ripped a piece of wood down the middle, planed it to the same thickness. I'm going to cut it down, use two pieces to set it up, and then use two pieces to make the final cut. And this one's got a big knot in it. So I think that'll be good to replicate what I was trying to do on the shelf. So cut is still set up from where it was before. I should find the centre. This bit here, I need to find the centre of that. So I'm just going to run one through, run the second one through. I'm going to bring the fence forward. So I brought the fence forward so this bit is just cutting into it. This is the piece that I need to concentrate on, not the not the mitres. slightly out. That one's higher than that. So that one's too high. Cut needs to come up. Right, so I've cut two pieces, exactly the same, running them through there, so when they go together, they're flush. Now, what I should have done on the shelf, I'm going to bring this forward, uh, I've just checked that my fence is square. couple of little packers. I need to make a fence that you can adjust or remake it, make a new one that's square to this. Like I say that's square now. Put my backboard back on. This is the one that I had on before. And I'm going to make shallow cuts. I'm going to undo this knob at this side. Just tap it back slowly. And what I should have done with the shelf is just take little cuts, lots of little cuts, be a bit more patient
very small flat on this edge same on the other one, the other one's very slightly bigger but not much so I'm just going to knock it back once more take that flat off That's a lot better. That's about as good as I'm going to get, I think. Two crisps edge come together because it's clamped. You live and learn, don't you? So. Set up your two pieces so they finish flush. You don't have to. You don't have to go to the point. You just need that. You need that tongue and groove. Then put a backboard on and slowly move it back. 